Done. Um, moving down the front, to jump. You'll notice there's an engine block there. That's the original um, Ford Duratec V6, two and a half litre, that I was going to put in the car, but decided against when I found out that the uh, KL already had an adapter plate sorted for the MX-5 gearbox, and also the KL is a fair chunk lighter and slightly smaller as well. So that kind of decided it. So that's been relegated to floor uh, ornament. Although my flatmate wants to make a shisha pipe for it, but that's for another story. Um, that lump there, with the air filter sat in it, that's the template for the air box that I'll explain in a minute. Um, and, da 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 da, it's the engine. KL V6, 2.5 litres. Um, what we have is a big mangle of rubbish all over it. <coughs> yeah, I found the V, <laughs> the kind of the, almost the valley of the V is quite useful for storing things. So hence that oil filter was sat on there. Um, these throttle bodies, they are um, Triumph T595 throttle bodies with a custom fuel rail on either side. Um, obviously, the fuel system's got to be finished off. The uh, automatic. Oh, sorry, the adjustable fuel pressure regulator is going to be sat under where that fuse box is resting at the moment. I'm going to be using the standard uh, fuel lines back to the fuel tank, standard fuel pump at the moment, unless that proves to be underpowered, but we'll see. Um, <coughs> we have, it, it fits like a glove. Uh, that's the tightest fit all around the engine, basically. That's the alternator and its bracket. There's a good 8mm there. Um, and if you look down this gap here, you can see my custom motor mount sat on a Rover V8 uh, mounting rubber. And you can just about see there is uh, that's the new subframe. It's kind of like the V8 Roadster's subframe. Um, but I reckon it's slightly better. We've kind of braced it a little bit more at the top mounts. Um, the rear mounts are quite a lot more substantial, but it still weighs absolutely nothing compared to the original subframe, so should be quite nice. Um, moving back up, um, we have the cam covers, nicely painted black. I'm trying to make it look roughly OEM. Those that have read my thread probably know that um, I'm trying to do this as if, I mean, obviously throttle bodies is a bit extreme, but... I'm trying to do it as if Mazda had done this from the factory, so I'm trying to look it, make it look fairly stock. Um, I do have these um, Honda CBR 1000 or 900 or whatever they were um, coil on plug, coil over plug mod, um, sticks, uh, one per cylinder obviously. Um, they're going to be doing my ignition that I was talking about earlier. That's um, the uh, injectors under there. Those are either Ford Duratec V6 two and a half litre ones or their Vauxhall uh, Vectra V6 three litre injectors. I can't remember what they're off. They just kind of turned up. Um, what I'm going to do, and what I have actually already done, but it's all in a bit of a mess, and I can't be asked to put it on the car at the moment. But the the loom that sorts the coils and the injectors is basically the same loom um, so it all goes into one tidy little um, kind of conduit thing uh, all the way back uh, so it's, it all looks very tidy you don't have the, the big uh, HT leaves that you normally get um, and it should work fairly well um, but of course that's all that's uh, all to be tested one of those things that we'll probably have to iron out the problems with later on. Um, here I have my um, oil filter. You'll know, you notice I've gone fairly overkill with it. Um, it's on a remote mount and I have underneath there, you can just about see next to the blue pipe, that's the oil filter takeoff plate. Um, that's because the original, well it's a very tight fit to the original, but also I just want a remote one because it's easier to handle them. And I can fit a whacking great filter like that on it. 
which is uh, always a positive thing, I think. Um, this thing over here, the light brown thing um, that I was talking about earlier, that is a template for the air in, uh, intake uh, plenum, which is going to sit on top of there. Um, I say template, that's a glass fibre one. I'm going to cut it to shape so that it just fits under the bonnet, a standard. Then that's going to have a mould made off that, and then it's going to be done in carbon fibre with trumpets inside. Um, and it will be sealed, and there will be a cone filter feeding it from that end, kind of the cowl end of it. Um, that's about that. Um, taken the uh, headlight covers off, I'm not quite sure why, or the backs of the headlights anyway, whatever you want to call it. Um, that was done a long time ago. Uh, you'll notice the bonnet isn't on. Uh, it hasn't been on for about a year. Um, looking forward to the day when it goes back on, but that's still to come. Um, <coughs> what I can't show you at the moment, oh, one more thing. Down there you can just about see where the pickup there's the pickup pipe, um, not the pickup pipe, the uh, dipstick tube. Where it goes in down the bottom there, that's the new sump. I had a bit of a problem with that. It was, you'll notice it's got a bit of a funny shape to it. That was so that it would fit nicely inside the original subframe so I wouldn't have to change it. Unfortunately, um, making it in, well, measuring it in Coventry and making it in Leicester didn't quite pan out. So um, it didn't quite fit, it was slightly too big. So I thought rather than mess around with the oil pan, I'd uh, just make a new subframe, much easier. And uh, to be honest, I'm glad I did, it's turned out really nice. And 